Man, I don't know about you guys, but I am sick to my stomach with this new world order nonsense. Why couldn't these lunatic psychopaths wait another few dozen years so I don't have to be here for this? It's disgustingly obvious how everything points to their end goal agenda. Removing gasoline, forcing people into electric cars is a big component of this. One, obviously to restrict movement, you need a huge electrical power grid, constant source to travel around. Two, keep people under constant radiation. It damages the body and they can monitor them using invisible energy, which is really the biggest secret the elite have kept from the masses. It's why every time I talk about it, my video gets a thousand views. Back in February, Keystone XL pipeline halted as Biden revokes permit. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says his officials have been in frequent contact with the President-elect Joe Biden's incoming administration, making the case for a long-disputed oil pipeline that reports say Biden will cancel on his first day in office. And now, 12 cyber attack shuts down U.S. fuel pipeline Jugular, Biden briefed. Top U.S. fuel pipeline operator Colonial Pipeline shut its entire network the source of nearly half of the U.S. East Coast fuel supply after a cyber attack on Friday that involved ransomware. The incident is one of the most disruptive digital ransom operations ever reported and has drawn attention to how vulnerable U.S. energy infrastructure is to hackers. A prolonged shutdown of the line would cause prices to spike at gasoline pumps ahead of peak summer driving season, a potential blow to U.S. consumers and the economy. Hey. I didn't know they were referring to the CIA as hackers now. And it's happening in Canada too. Michigan orders closure of pipeline in escalating dispute with Canada. The state of Michigan has told a Canadian energy company it must shut down a controversial oil and gas pipeline by Wednesday amid growing fears that a spill would be catastrophic to the region in a feud which threatens to strain relations between Canada and the United States. Look, if the sheep will believe this, they might as well put clown shoes and makeup on the president. This is just completely crazy. First it was a Russian hacker, then it was ransomware, and they paid out a ransom of $5 million within several hours. All three of these shutdowns were ordered by our leaders. Biden signing that executive order to shut down the Keystone Pipeline, and that shut down last week because of the Russian hacker ransomware attack. It wasn't actually shut down by the hackers. The company shut it down out of caution. Same with the third pipeline shutdown. The companies are turning the pipelines off themselves. They are doing what they were told by the higher ups. If Americans knew these evil motherfuckers were hitting switches intentionally that cut off supply chains, they would start throwing these news reporters out of their glass buildings. So let's be clear. Not only did these scumbags shut everything down intentionally? All of these news articles, stories, media blitzes, fear-mongering gas shortages were intentional to create the chaos. Who knows if anything was even shut down? It might not have been, but what did happen is people panic buying gas. It's fucking comical. They get people to freak out and then say, Oh, but don't freak out. Don't put it in plastic bags. Speaking of scumbags, you have the New World Order pawn Elon Musk crashing crypto with a few tweets. Ironically, I called this a week ago in my Bitcoin video, and if you could find one other person that said what I said, they're going to blame the environment to crash crypto, please let me know. And I had no idea it was going to happen in such a short period of time. And what's even funnier is Tesla electric cars are not good for the environment. I mean, this brings us back to February, April of 2020, where every street was like a ghost town because everyone locked themselves inside their homes. For some reason, Verizon was very busy installing new cell towers, LED lights on every street. I'm still amazed that no one noticed or observed, still doesn't care about that. But we did a video months ago filming like 40 or 50 vans I saw within an hour of driving around New York. Every inch they take from us, we are not getting back. What really scared me was an advertisement I saw yesterday for ready.gov. Make a plan today. Your family may not be together if a disaster strikes. 
So it is important to know which types of disasters could affect your area. Know how you'll contact one another and reconnect if separated. Establish a family meeting place that's familiar and easy to find. And their list of events is redundantly things that they control, the electrical grid and the weather. When they start predictive programming that natural disasters can shut down an electrical grid, <laughs> things are not good. We know they want everyone in gigantic smart cities under constant surveillance, literally reading your thoughts in some giant database so there's no chance of rebellion against the elite. These natural disasters seem like a great way to cram people into these megacities, which I found a 2050 projection of under the guise of assurance and safety from the government. Like honestly, what the fuck are they putting in the water and food supply that is literally rotting people's brains away? It's absolutely crazy. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and please make sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you can please check out frank you can support me through my businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.